Now let's add a new listing. As a website admin you can add listings via the back end by going to the listings add new section or via the front end listing form. Let's try to add a new listing via the front end to check how it works for regular users. To add a new listing, simply go to the website front page and click on the add listing button. This is the listing form, which contains the basic fields like category, title and description. Also, since we installed and set up the geolocation extension, there is a location field that allows users to search and select the listing location. Here, you can see the image uploader where you can select the listing images to upload. Here are custom fields that we added previously. Please know that I have added some of these fields behind the scenes. Moreover, as I mentioned earlier, there are no limits and you can add as many attributes as you need. So, let's fill in all these fields to add a sample listing. Finally, here you can set different booking restrictions. Here, vendors can define the number of days that are required before the booking date. For example, if I set 2, no one will be able to book this listing earlier than 2 days from today. And here, they can set how many days in advance a booking can be made. For example, if I set 14 days, then no one will be able to book this listing for later dates than 2 weeks from today. Within these two fields you can set the minimum and the maximum booking duration. Don't forget to check this box if you want to accept or reject each booking manually. After completing the form, click on the Submit Listing button. As you can see, the listing is sent for review and the website admin can approve or reject it. Since it's an admin user account, I can go to the WordPress dashboard Listing section and change the listing status from pending to published. Once the listing is approved, it should appear on the front end. Let's take a look. This is a page of the listing we created. As you can see, it displays the attributes we created previously, the location with the map images, and so on. But let's add one more listing to the sports equipment category, just to check how time-based bookings work. Simply click on the Add Listing button. First of all, I have to select a listing category. As you can see, once I picked a category, the listing attributes changed, and here additional booking restrictions appeared. Let's briefly fill in all the fields. Okay, now let's set up booking restrictions for the time-based bookings. Here, you can select the days of the week available for booking. It's a nice feature if you don't offer your services on weekends, for example. Here, you can set the earliest and the latest time available for booking. Here, it's important to set the booking slot duration. For example, for this listing I'll set 60 minutes. It means that users won't be able to book this bike for less than 60 minutes. Also, you can set a booking interval between slots. For example, I'll set 10 minutes. It means that no one will be able to book this bike earlier than 10 minutes after the previous booking. Finally, click on the Submit Listing button. Now, let's approve it in the same way as the previous one. By the way, keep in mind that if you don't want to accept each listing submission manually, you can disable moderation in the Hivepress Settings Listings section. 
Once the listing is approved, let's check it. As you can see, here are category-specific attributes that I have added behind the scenes. Also, here is a time-based booking form. In the same way, I'll add a few more listings behind the scenes, just to have a bit more sample content for the website. But before moving to the next video, let's book this listing to check how it works. For example, let's try to book it for Monday for one hour. Please note that I cannot book this listing for weekends or earlier than 10 am or for half an hour. That's all the booking restrictions that I set up during the listing submission. As you can see, there is a redirect to the confirmation page, where users can verify all the details before sending a booking request, as well as add some notes. After checking all the details, simply click on the Send Request button. Once a user books a listing, a vendor can manage the booking request in the My Account Bookings section. Here is a pending request for booking. As a vendor, you can accept or decline it. Let's accept this one by clicking on the Accept button. That's it! The booking is accepted. Also, there is a calendar feature that allows vendors to block or unblock specific hours to make them available or unavailable for new bookings. Moreover, the booking calendar helps vendors to see the whole picture of the week, like upcoming bookings, available and unavailable hours, and so on. Ok, now you know how to add and book listings. In the next video I'll show you how to create a front page for your rental marketplace and customize its styling. So. Let's move on!